Hi, I'm Derek B., editor of the Peru Tribune, back with you today for another edition of Tomorrow's News, our daily video series in which I tell you a little bit about what you can expect to see in the next day's newspaper. Uh, today is Thursday, March 6th, 2014, so I'll be telling you what you can read about in the Friday, March 7th print edition of the Peru Tribune, or online tonight at perutribune.com. On our lead story, uh, Chad Epshire has a report for us on Peru Community Schools' investment in technology. They plan to spend $1.7 million to buy 1,100 Microsoft Service tablets. Uh, that's going to start with grades 7 to 12 and eventually make its way down to lower grades. This is not a one-to-one -one initiative, so to speak, because there won't necessarily be an opportunity for students to bring the devices home or to have them tied to a specific student, uh, according to Assistant Superintendent Kenneth Hansen although there are still some details to be worked out on how exactly that's going to work. Uh, that money is going to come out of their bonds they took out in November, which are going to eventually add $10 million in debt to the tax rolls. Our display story uh, comes from Eric Stoff, who went to the Peru Garden Club's first meeting of the season today. They had a presentation on maple syrup and also talked about their 75th anniversary. They're going to have a celebration and continue to do community service events. It's really great to see folks getting together to do good in the community as well as uh, have some fun and talk about something they're all interested in. Lower on A1, uh, we have another story from Chad on Miami Circuit Court on Thursday. Two uh, men accused of sexual abuse appeared, uh, John Minns and Charles Summers. Pretty minor stuff for them as far as pretrial hearings, but we're looking forward to finding out more about how those cases are going to resolve in the near future. Uh, we also had a variety of cases in the gavel inside the paper. Um, <clears throat> moving on to uh, our final A1 story uh, from us here in Peru. That's from Eric Stoff. He um, wrote about flooding, which is a possibility, but not, a, not a, a large one, going into the weekend as temperatures are expected to warm up. He spoke to Chris Marks, the Miami County Emergency Management Director, and some folks over at the Mississippi Reservoir about what they expect. What they're expecting basically is that it's going to get warmer and there is going to be some extra water, but it's not going to be enough to cause any major problems. Uh, finally, we have one other A1 story coming from the Wabash Plain Dealer. Uh, they have a preview of the Tri-Chamber Expo happening Friday and Saturday in Wabash, which includes the Miami County Chamber of Commerce. Sounds like a really exciting event, bringing all of those folks together. So we hope that folks here in the Miami County community will make their way over there and learn a little bit more about the ways that we can interact and improve all of our communities. Finally, on the sports page, uh, we had one story from Nick Roby. He went Wednesday night to the Peru Tigers sectional game against Northwestern. It was a close game, just like it was the first time, uh, but didn't turn out the way that Peru's Tigers might have wanted. Uh, they finished the season and will look to, uh, to improve next year with a young team and junior center Seth Adelsberger returning. As always, you can find all those stories in tomorrow's print edition of the Peru Tribune. You can find them online tonight at perutribune.com. Excuse me. And you can find links to them on our Facebook and Twitter pages, which are both Peru Tribune. And until tomorrow, that's tomorrow's news. I'm Derek B. Have a great Friday.